Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. Welcome to the kitchen. And it's my day off and I'm trying to do some food prep. So today we're making a crock pot ham, cheese, and potato casserole. And I had this years ago. I think they actually did it in the oven. Um, and I'm not doing it in the oven. I'm doing it in the crock pot. But it's going to be the same concept. You just have cravings for things sometimes. I think it's 82 degrees today, but I have fall cravings. So I'm gonna bring you along for my fall cravings that I want. So this is sort of a craving slash use what I have slash some new stuff. How does that sound? So this will give you an idea of what if I don't have, can I improvise? You know, what can I do? How do, do I have to follow a recipe? No. Recipes were created from people that gathered bits and pieces and gathered their fragments, as they say, and gathered it up and created something. So that's what we're sort of doing today. The, the base is potatoes, cheese, ham, and that's really the base. Then we're going to add what we want. So I have five pound bag of potatoes. I don't know if I'll use the whole bag. We'll see what it looks like. I have a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup. This is what it calls for. Now, what if you don't have that? You can just make, if you can make a roux with flour and milk and butter, you can add some chicken bouillon to it and make your own version of cream of chicken soup, which is probably very tasty. And you don't have to worry about having a can. Um, if you don't have the cream of mushroom, don't worry about it. Just use cream of chicken. It, you know what? It's very forgiving. Nobody will know. Cheese, I have some cheese left over. I'm gonna use this up. I have a mixture. I do parsley, onion powder, and garlic powder in a jar because I get tired of having the three out. So I just do one for one. One thing of onion powder, one thing of garlic powder, one thing of parsley. Shake it up. This is the last bit that I have left, so I'm gonna use that. It calls for onions. I, I, we talked about I have texture issues. I don't like the texture of onions cooked onions. So I always use chopped dried onions. I think it adds a better, for me, it adds a better flavor and I, you don't get the, the chunky onion in it. And it's interesting because I have people go, really? But then when I make a meal, they'll go, oh, that was so good. What did you use in it? When I tell them it's dried onion, nobody can believe it. So that's one of my secret ingredients. Might throw in some Marmite. Not sure yet if I'm going to do that. I also have some chicken flavoring. Not sure if I'm gonna do that. You'll just have to watch and see what I do. Now, let me tell you, okay, we're gonna gather a fragment, use up we have, staying on budget. Where I work, we have different events. And at those events, we serve meals. So the staff can get meals. And so here was one of the meals that we had, and it was a, a slice of ham, scalloped potatoes, and peas. So it's been in the refrigerator for two days and I'm like, you know what? Why not use that ham up instead of the ham that I have in the freezer? So use that up, save that ham for another recipe. The scalloped potatoes have cheese in them. Throw them, I think I'm gonna throw them on the bottom as a base and if they get real mushy, they'll just mix in as with the cream soups and it'll be all good. Why not throw the peas in there, have a green vegetable, you know what? talk like a mom I got to get those greens in there so I'm gonna just prep you can follow me along and I'll show you what it looks like at the end
so the cover is off of the crock pot and look at this meal doesn't this look so good Ooh, baby oh yeah we are good to go so here's the scoop i showed you half a bag of those mixed vegetables that i had i never ended up adding it i just used the peas those mixed vegetables were from a recipe i made the other day and i decided not to add them and then i had some shaved ham from the deli and i had bought extra when we had company and i didn't need it so i put it in the freezer and just looking at the meal i thought i might need to add a little extra ham so I've got some ham chunks, as you can see. And then I also have, you can see the shaved ham in here. And man, it just looks, does that not look good? Woo, creamy, delicious in the crock pot. So that is the ham casserole in the crock pot. Potatoes, ham, peas, cheese, goodness. So we're going to sit and enjoy this as a family. I wanna thank you again for coming over. And paying a visit and I will also at the end of this video I'm going to show you a new place to us called farm stores they are container stores that are popping up I guess all over the country but we got one by us and you can actually do a drive up grocery pickup but today we went and got some pumpkin spice latte and some breakfast sandwiches and they were so good I also got a menu and I'm going to set up an account on their app and we can do grocery pickup and I believe Grubhub also delivers for them. So anyway, I'll just add that to the end of the video. Hope you enjoy. Catch you all on the next video. So just to jump in here real quick, these are new container stores in our area. We loved it. They have a selection of everyday groceries and essentials. They make fresh squeezed orange juice and lemonade and bakery products are made fresh daily. While we waited, they made our breakfast sandwich, which was great. Very friendly, very affordable, loved it. We'll be going there quite often.